The diff kind of looks a little unstable there. Ah, it'll be fine. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I gotta confess that uh, clip is slightly edited. You'll see it later, you'll actually get the premise, but um, for those of you guys who haven't been following the channel, today we are diving into my C7, my twin turbo C7. It uh, blew up the diff at the track racing Guitar Mageddon, and uh, well, we're gonna find out what's wrong with it, and uh, as you can see, it's, uh, it's an interesting story, <laughs> so enjoy. Okay. Oh. What kind of fluid do we got? See it looks uh like dip fluid. I don't see any like oh, look at this. I mean it's definitely glittery. Yeah. Not a huge match. There's a little chunk on there. Yeah. I don't see any like craziness, but I mean it's definitely. Uh, it's probably good for a change. Anyway. Yeah, <laughs> we'll just change the whole dip. Yeah, come here. So close. Differential. I'm gonna pull this rear cover to see the game. Yeah. That's what I'm ten, excited for. Ten mils? Uh, eight mils. Okay, guys, we're getting to the moment of truth. Look at that. So close. How much carnage is in here? I'm. What are you thinking? You're thinking just like I think a spider gear. Spider gear? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't know. I don't know anything about this. And survey. Survey says. That mic didn't train it completely. All the way. I don't. I don't see. I don't see anything really broken. Okay, so we got some tens to take off now. <laughs> or should we take off the side? I mean, I took off the. You can... Did you rotate it at all? Uh, I don't have anything to rotate it with. Uh. I, mean, I can pull it side, I guess. Hopefully, we find something wrong. Because if not, then it's in the trans. <laughs> How's the shaft look? Shaft look okay. So this is usually one of the failures on the the car is the output shaft of the transmission. But well, that looks good. I don't see anything wrong there. Pry bar. Pry bar. It doesn't exactly look like a pry bar, but I mean I got a new depth, so have, bar. Have, yeah. Try hard enough. Oh, it's coming. That's what she said. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> We're not getting very far. <laughs> I can't see. I don't see any like broken teeth. No, but now I can spin. Oh, I hear stuff. Keep on, go, go slower. Here, shut, what's... Yes. I, yeah, I hear something in there. That's gotta be the center section. Yeah, so... I don't know if I can see all the way through to the back. Yeah, there's, there's definitely there's something, something in there. Well, I'll pull off the other side, let's find out. But it's... It, I'm glad because if you spun it and it didn't make any noise, I'd be like, oh my god, it's my trans. I bought a diff. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there, it's going down. Gilligan. <laughs> you can probably get a strap on there if you want. Uh, Wait, we don't. I mean, it's. Just watch your feet. That's all. Watch your feet. Yeah, yeah, don't let it come down on your feet. That's all. I think I have another diff. <laughs> we do have another one. You know, this is... What? <laughs> it's 10s on one side and 13s on the other? Yeah. Man. Yeah. All right. Look at that. Okay. 
New video from Bruce Willis. Pry hard. <laughs> and then a sequel, Pry hard with a screwdriver. <laughs> live free and pry hard. Okay, you got this. You stay? I, I don't know, maybe. I, I'd like to know what broke, but I mean, I heard it. Heard so it, if, if it falls over there. and just shatters, I'll be like, okay, it was a diff. <laughs> like, we know it was a diff. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if, it, <laughs> if this was a customer's diff, we, we would have had it strapped down and all that fun stuff. Oh, it's a center section. It, yeah, it's limited slip. Okay, it? yeah, okay. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. I thought I broke the limited slip. <laughs> I mean, the gears look fine. All right, rebuilt diff. I uh, mean, anybody? <laughs> <laughs> that's not that's not bad. I mean, you could do a a different limited slip, like a wave track or something. Yeah. Huh. It's all Josh's fault. It is Josh's fault. Fucking Josh. Shut up, Josh. Okay. Well, we'll get the other one in now, and maybe maybe we'll rebuild this and hold it as a spare. So the damage to the housing in our little escapade is <laughs> just a little bit here. I mean, it, it's a little oblong shape. You see it? It's a slightly oblong shape. That's okay. It's still kind of usable. <laughs> okay, you move. So that's the sound that I... Yeah. It's not supposed to make that noise. Well, that's definitely why uh, when I floored it, it went whoop to the side. I mean, I, it must have broken on the launch, because it was like Spin City. I mean, you can't see inside of that anywhere, can we? No. Eh. Oh, well. Okay. Well, that's okay. It is what it is. We know what happened. And now we can uh, get the other one in and get yep. her back on the road. Sweet! Okay, try not to break my fucking diff anymore, man. Try not to. <laughs> Maybe I'll scrap I, that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be a good idea. <laughs> Okay, so you you put it you put the diff in. Trying to be bolted together. Oh yeah. Like I got to tighten the bolts. And we got the new O-ring. Okay. Yeah. Well. I was right. Yeah, yeah. Alex said that uh, right, the moment right. that we go to put it in, GM will show up. So we better start putting it in. Yeah. Everyone asks, where's when do they show up? It's the second after it's in. Yeah. Here we are. Man, look at that fancy number. Boom. I got a serial number now. I didn't have that on my old one, so you know this one's good. How's it uh, going? Good. Uh, I actually installed it and the fucking seal came. So I had to take it back out and put it back in. <laughs> New diffs in. Um, just putting the suspension back together. And then got to put fluid in it. Put the bumper on. Exhaust on. And we're good to go. Any fluid? No. That's the fill, guy. Uh, I thought it would come out the fill if it's full. Always undo the fill first before you undo the drain. Because then it pulls vacuum and doesn't no. drain all the way. No? Because then you can fill it. Because what happens if you take the drain out and you can't get the fill open? Ooh. License plate now? Robert Chevrolet. The fuck? Put a CSP plate on. There you go. These are available at CSPRacing.com. Good go. Wow, what? So now you threw it. <laughs> it landed all the way back here. <laughs> Wait, you just drove my car without me? Yeah. What the fuck, man? I mean, I work on this thing all the fucking time. I can drive it. Can you? Can Maybe. you drive it? Maybe. Have you driven a car this fast? No. <laughs> it just went faster than mine, but no. <laughs> but, it's all together. All good. Um, all right. So no more... <laughs> no. I was actually literally... I was doing like slow donuts outside. Like, circles. And everything feels fine. Great. And are you going to put fluid in the diff now? Shit. <laughs> Okay, let's just throw this, this diff on the ground, okay? Okay. Okay, sweet. <laughs> She's on the dyno, and it is only 63 degrees out. Is that? Yeah, it's a 63. So, we're going to see what she puts down today.
199. That's low boost. Do you put torque on? Okay. Okay, I've given it some thought. Let's take the X-pipe off, see if we get a little bit more boost, and or what happens. Hopefully we don't overboost, and, uh, you know, see if we should actually make something or just, you know, skip it. Oh boy. Crotch shot. <laughs> so we're taking off the, uh, the X-pipe right now, see if uh, the whole exhaust is a little bit of a restriction. And, yeah, wish us luck. You, you have it just like dangling there? Yeah. It'll be fine. <laughs> it might fall off during the run, <laughs> but it'll, it'll, be, it'll be fine. Yeah, it's got the, yeah, it should be fine. I wonder what my exhaust looks like. It's probably like all pointed up. It actually looks pretty good. We should keep it like that. Now that we put the X-pipe back on, we're going to run it one more time for good measure. We let it cool down for a little bit. So high boost, final pull. No ice, just high boost. So guys, I think that's about it for tonight. Uh, I'm I'm happy that we're back to the numbers. The diff hasn't exploded on the dyno. That was like actually the most important thing and wanted to test it out under high boost in a controlled environment before going to the track and like it locking up at 150 miles per hour. So that was the most important thing. I do see that we can make some improvements with the car, specifically the boost controller and maybe an exhaust modification. So I'm gonna look into that 
but at this point I'm not sure what I'm gonna invest in it I know the boost controller is working it's just not doing what I want it to do so I have to figure that out I think that's you know priority one if I'm gonna put any more money into it before I sell it I really do want eights and I really do want to beat the freedom rocket getting to eights boost only but I don't know that it's gonna happen heck it's a nice cool night tonight Nick might run eights tonight so who knows okay guys thanks for watching Hope you have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, if you are subscribed, make sure that you hit that bell. Uh, I've had reports that some people are subscribed and aren't getting any notifications, which is kind of weird. So do that. Comment below. Adios.